What's the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality? You may have heard of the multiverse, but today we are diving into multiple realities. They are VR and AR, or virtual reality and augmented reality. Let's start with the virtual reality. Virtual reality is an artificial environment normally represented in the three-dimensional simulation that is created using software. Also referred to as VR, it is like a portal to completely different worlds, like stepping into a whole new reality. You are immense in this new world and you have very little awareness of the real physical world. It works by using screens to show you the virtual world and sensors to track your movements so that when you look around it feels like you're really there. VR can be used in many different ways and in industries. The most popular is probably the gaming industry where VR is fantastic for immersive gaming experiences like being a fighter in a boxing match or hitting musical objects using Beat Saber. Businesses could use virtual tours of business environments to train new employees. Educating people by using simulations for training future pilots or astronauts with aviation scenarios. Or letting young students visit museums or scenes from the past without needing a passport or time machine. Imagine new healthcare workers like doctors practicing surgery without ever touching a scalpel or using VR to expose people to their phobias but in a safe environment. Engineers can design buildings or structures virtually and actually inspect what it would look like to walk around before laying the first brick of the building. There are tons of applications for VR which include fashion, military and sport and that's only the beginning. So what do we need in order to experience virtual reality? Besides the actual computing device like your computer or smartphone to run the VR experiences, you also need a VR headset to provide the output for your VR experience, like the Oculus Rift or the PlayStation VR. Some VR apps are also available on smartphones with simple VR headsets where you can slide your smartphone into the headset as the screen. Now if you're planning on interacting with a virtual world, you will need a way to input your interactions. You can do this by using controllers, trackballs, wands or data gloves or cyber gloves. But new technologies are helping to make worlds even more immersive by creating bodysuits, treadmills and motion trackers to help make VR like the real world that you would normally interact with. Now before you dive headfirst into the world of VR, if there's one thing to keep in mind then that is safety. While VR can transport you to amazing places, it's important to be aware of your surroundings. You don't want to trip over furniture while exploring a virtual jungle. So spend some time preparing your physical environment to give you the freedom of movement you need to enjoy it. This includes your baby brother or sister walking in the area. You don't want to hit them while you are fighting in a game. You may also feel dizzy or disorientated if you use it for too long, so remember to take regular breaks. Now, augmented reality or AR adds digital elements to the real world you're already in. It superimposes computer-generated graphics into your current view of the real world. It basically enhances your current reality. If you've ever used an Instagram or TikTok filter like I have, trying to be Goku, or played a game like Pokemon Go where virtual creatures pop up in your neighborhood, then you've already experienced AR. It's like having virtual objects appear in your room or seeing extra details about something just by looking at it through your phone. AR can be used in the beauty sector by showing you what you would look like with a new haircut, like this face app app. The decor industry can use it to show you what new furniture or new decor would look like in your current house. It could also allow you to interact with a digital version of the product before you decide to purchase it physically. You could use it for interactive learning experiences like in life science or navigating apps that show you directions right on the street. Most people use their smartphone to view AR as it has both the camera to record the real environment and a screen to show you how it looks with the new images superimposed on it. But you may even want to get AR glasses such as the Microsoft HoloLens or Google Glass that have cameras and sensors to overlay digital content onto the real world. But all of this hardware needs the right AR apps or software to make the magic happen. But safety is still important here too. Make sure you are not too distracted by digital elements especially when not in a safe environment. The advantages of AR and VR include making learning more engaging, providing new forms of entertainment and even helping with things like virtual meetings or trying out interior design ideas. However, they also have limitations such as the cost of the equipment and the potential for motion sickness in VR or limited battery life in AR devices. So to recap, virtual reality is a completely artificial environment created for you to interact with. You use headsets and other devices to experience the environment but you're not aware of the real world. While with AR you can see and experience the real world but digital elements have been superimposed into your view of the real world. Now that we know the difference between the two, maybe I should go try out one of those AR filters to see what I would look like with hair. 
Remember, you're going to miss out on our videos about other computer terms if you don't become a subscriber. Click on that like button, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you, and make sure that you share us with your friends. Also, follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.